What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Solid Rock Personal Training Show. I'm Coach Bob and today I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Derek Gygas. And we are gonna be diving into a really fun topic today. And it's all about how to get better results with your training program with three specific key things, okay? So Coach Dean and I are gonna dive right into this. Make sure you buckle up if you need to take notes, take notes, and this will be extremely valuable for you to get better results. Coach, we've got three different ways we can get better results with our training program if people follow along and make sure that they're sticking with the, the process, right? So what are the three big key things that folks can do in the way of training? Yeah, Coach Bob, I love it, man. So like our training program, we predominantly focus on functional strength training and for you know general population. Anywhere in between the age of 40 and 60 is the average person that walks through our door. We have some people on the bottom end and some people even on the top end of that. But uh, our programming is broken down into three different phases. We have what's called stabilization endurance. So we're working on stability and endurance. Then we got muscle endurance is going to be that next phase. So really working on the endurance of the muscle. And then that last phase is going to be hypertrophy. So really working on that muscle definition and size and adding those three components together and following that process allows us to get the best results for the people that come to work out at Solid Rock. I love that. And so within those three phases, let's break each one of those down and talk a little bit roughly about like how long does a phase of training last and then what's what's actually happening in each one of those three phases yeah great question so here at solid rock we do all of our programming in advance we have a macro cycle so we have a year within that macro cycle we have four 12 week programs and there'll also be four one week programs where it's more of a deload week to let your muscles recover, let your body tune down from all the hard training we've been putting it through. So inside of a 12 week program, we'll have two micro cycles of a six week program. So you go through six weeks of progressive training, and then at the end of six weeks, we'll start over again and go through six more weeks of progressive training. And then that seventh week before we start another 12 week program would be a lighter deload week to let your muscles, your joints and your body recover. Uh, so you can continue to train for the long run and live that active lifestyle outside of the gym. I love that. Yeah, that's perfect. And why is it important for people to understand and know like when they're coming to these 12 week blocks of time, right? And they're cycling through those three different phases. What's each one of those phases going to help them with in their everyday life? Absolutely. So if we talk about that stabilization endurance phase, we're going to look at rep schemes of anywhere between 20 and 12 repetitions. Also during that phase is when we utilize our tempo training, which is something I think we've become known for um, in group training, where we're going to slow down. We're going to stabilize our joints so we can train pain free and develop stability as well. And then we're gonna go into that muscle endurance. That's still gonna be anywhere, you know, I would say the way we program it between 18 um, and 10 repetitions. You're gonna be in tempo training there as well. We'll look more at a, a little bit of a faster tempo than so much of a slow down stability tempo, which is gonna help your longevity of training. Right. And then the last two weeks of a six week cycle would be that hypertrophy training. We're not gonna have any tempo training here. We're gonna be focusing on a lower reps. So anywhere between eight and six reps during this phase of training, we're gonna be moving a lot heavier of a load, really challenging that overall strength so when you come and do our training programs, when we start at the beginning and we progress through the six weeks, I want you guys to track how many reps you're doing and at what weight you're doing that movement. Because the way the programming works, we don't believe in a ton of variety where you're doing a bunch of different things because right. you can become a master of nothing if you do that. We progress the movements to more advanced uh, forms of that movement over the six weeks. And we want you to track your reps and then increase that weight over time. If you do that and keep it really simple, yep. you're gonna get incredible results and your body's gonna feel a heck of a lot better and you're not gonna feel like you got punched in the face every single workout too. 100%, 100%. And that's really important, right? Because one of the big things that we see in a lot of other training environments is that people go really fast. They just blow through movements. They don't take time to slow it down, work on those fundamental patterns, take rest do things like that. So why is it important that when people are following these cycles that they actually are taking rest when they're doing their strength training and how's that benefit them? 
Absolutely. So rest is going to allow you to recover so you can keep good form when you're going. But if you're truly challenging yourself, the rest we have programmed in our workouts here at Solid Rock, it, you're going to need to take it. If you find yourself not needing to take that rest, that means you're not challenging yourself enough. So if we program 60 to 90 seconds of rest and you're like, oh my goodness, why am I having to take all this rest before I go get into my next set? I would challenge you to think of the intensity that you're doing movements or you might not be following tempo or you might not be picking up heavy enough weight because that's gonna allow me to have good form going into my next set and maybe even increase my weight so I can continue to improve my results over time. I love that. Sweet. So let's do a little recap just so everybody knows what we covered and we'll get out of this episode. Sounds great. So guys, today we covered our training program here at Solid Rock. We take a big perspective. We look at the whole year in advance, then we break it down into four 12-week cycles. So that's about four quarters in the year. And then within that 12-week cycle, we have two six-week micro cycles. So that's going to allow us to progress you through rep schemes so we can go through all three phases of training that we utilize here at Solid Rock, that stabilization endurance, that muscle endurance, and that hypertrophy training so you can train pain-free and live an active lifestyle outside of the gym. Love it. Awesome. Guys, if you love this episode, it would mean the world to us if you left us a review and shared this on whatever platform you're consuming it on. That way we get the word out to more people. Until next week, we hope you have a fantastic week coming up. Peace.